everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this beautiful feather stitch. The feather stitch is reversible so it's the same on each side. It features a great texture and it has a little bit of weight to it so it's a quite stable stitch. It creates this beautiful uh, feathered looking fabric. So this is a stitch we're going to learn how to make today. I'm going to be using the yarn called the Karen times Pantone by Your Inspirations, as well as a six millimeter crochet hook. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This channel is an updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as the one that you're going to see here today. I'm so happy that you've joined me, so grab your hook and some yarn and let's learn how to crochet this feathered stitch. For our feather stitch today, we're going to start off by making a foundation chain. This stitch is worked in rows. And your foundation chain can be any even number of stitches. So any even number is fine. Today I'm going to start with 20 chains. Ten. and 20. Once you have your foundation chain, any even multiple of stitches, you're going to start your first row by working a half double crochet in your second chain from your hook, and then one in each stitch all the way across. So at the end of my first row here, I'm going to have a total of 19 half double crochet stitches. At the end of your foundation row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to in that first, on top of your first stitch, work one half double crochet stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch, and in the next work another half double crochet. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, and half double crochet in the next stitch. So repeat that all the way across. When you come to the final stitch, that is where you're going to work your final half double crochet stitch. This is my final half double crochet there in round or row two. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Our next row is going to be the row that we repeat throughout our pattern. And this is where we are going to start working our feather stitches. Our feather stitch is a bit of a combination cluster stitch. What you're going to do is you're going to work a beginning feather, uh, first you're going to work a half double crochet in that first stitch. So in that first, the top of that first half double crochet, work a half double crochet stitch. You're now going to yarn over, insert your hook into the chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Next you're going to yarn over, and into this stitch, one row below, the one that you skipped, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up another loop to the height of your half double crochet stitch. You'll then have five loops on your hook. Next, you're going to yarn over once again, into the next chain one space, insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You will then have seven loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops. That's our beginning feather stitch. Chain one and we're, no we're now going to work another one. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same chain one space, 
that you just worked your final leg of the stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. There's three loops on your hook. Yarn over, once again into the stitch one row below that you skipped, down below, into that stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop to the same height as your half double crochet. You'll have five loops on your hook. Yarn over into the next chain one space, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. With seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all seven and chain one. That's your next feather stitch made. I'm going to show you one more time and then you're going to repeat that all the way across. So yarn over into the same chain one space you just worked, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the skipped stitch, one below, row below, yarn over, draw up a loop. Five loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop, seven loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all seven loops, and chain one. So that is your feather stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across to your final stitch. When you hit that final chain one space, I will meet you back and show you how to work the final feather stitch in the row. So I've now worked all the way across to my final chain one space, and that's where I've worked the final leg of this last feather stitch. Once you work that final leg, you've simply chained one, and then you're simply going to work one half double crochet stitch in the top of the final stitch. And don't worry if it looks like there's a space there, we're going to fill that in in the next row. So now you're going to chain one, turn your work, and we're essentially going to repeat the row that we just worked. So you're going to start by working a half double crochet in that first stitch, and chain one. You're then going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, and now you don't have any skip spaces one row or skip stitches one row below, but you have these little spaces here. So that is where you're going to be inserting your hook. So one row below, there's a empty space there, just insert your hook, yarn over, drop your loop to the right height, yarn over, into the next chain one space, insert your hook to work the final leg. Seven loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all seven, and chain one. That's your beginning feather stitch. I'm going to repeat that yarn over into the same chain one space, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over into the space below, so it's not a stitch, there's just a little opening there, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over into the next chain one space, insert your hook, draw up a loop. Seven loops, yarn over, pull through all seven, and chain one. And that's all there is to working this feather stitch. Now I'm going to continue across and show you one more time just how to work the final chain one space. It's quite a fun stitch to work. Once you get going, it works quite quickly. And I just love this beautiful texture and feel of it. So I'm now coming up on my final two spaces here. One stitch. Now my final space can be a little bit tricky, but it's right after you're just skipping that previous feather stitch. Work your final leg in it. When you have seven loops, pull through all seven loops. Chain one, 
and then in that final stitch work a half double crochet chain one turn your work and you're all set to go and continue on working your feather stitch so thank you so much for joining me once again i invite you to subscribe and i look forward to seeing you again next time happy crocheting bye